So we're taking this building off someone else. Someone else has done the fittings. And first look at it, we can see that things aren't right. So the first thing obviously we do, take the measurements um, of, each, of each dimension. And then we establish whether the building's square, whether the measurements are correct, and so on and so forth. Because the last thing you want is a carpenter coming and put the roof on and saying, oh, this is massively pissed, it's, it's 25 mil wide of that end and this end. Because no matter what you say, if I say to a chippy when he's here, oh, I've never done the footings, I'm just coming off here. You know, it's just a, for, in the eyes of the chipper, oh, yeah, of course, yeah, bullshit, yeah, you fucked up. And, yeah, we don't want none of that. So what we're going to do, we're going to establish the measurements. So I'm going to go away, measure it all, write it down on the drawing, and then we'll know exactly where we are and know exactly what we've got to do to get to achieve what we need. So what I've done now is I've measured measured it and I've put the numbers on the drawings. So as you can see there's a few uh, wrong measurements here. So that's 6040 and this end is 6065. So there's 25 mil difference in parallel there. We've got 5665 on this here and we've got 5685 in there over that small distance so we've got a lot to do to get this somewhere near where it should be so we've run a line through the back and the back wall is straight obviously we've got this piece coming off but that back wall is straight so we're going to use that as our set building line so to speak and we're going to set everything off that to give us this measurement should be 6050 should be 650 and this one, obviously 6065, so we're going to reduce that by 15 mil. We've done the diagonals, although you can see there's materials everywhere. We did do the diagonals the other day, just as a, a just a brief check, and we weren't too bad. So I've taken a random corner, and we've got 1344 on this staff. So what we're going to do now is go to each corner, and we'll work out the highs and the lows. And if we're within 10 mil high, 10 mil low, we'll probably take an average because we can obviously get on our block work a little bit if it's within the right field. That's 10 mil low. So we change this to the level, which is actually not 10 mil low, it's 14 mil low there for that one. So that's why we're going to be 14 mil high, so that's high now. That is about 6 mil, 6 mil low to that. So at this moment in time, that's our average. So that's saying that there is. 1348 so that's four mil to there but that was pretty much 1360 so that's actually 14 mil high to there that's within a couple of mil we'll accept that that's fine so all the levels believe it or not considering the building so far out square all the levels are within 10 mil which to my standard or most standards ain't great but it's better than I anticipated. So as you can see here, what we've had to do, we've had to come over 10 mil. Now I've been told all the ground's gonna be made up and obviously I explained to the contractor that it wasn't good enough. So what I said is I can, what that end I'm gonna to have to come in and this end I've had to come out. So as you can see, I've just done it there, but this is ground level here. So that's gonna be covered. And what I've also done, as you can probably see, I've got a lot tighter joints than what they've got here, if you can see all in. So I've tightened the joints up to make it look nicer. I mean, you can see their Mars bar joints all the way through. <laughs> so what we do is down through there, we're tightening them up and we make it look pretty. 